We are so humbled to have the governor of the great state of Oregon here with us today to talk to us about leadership and the value of diversity, especially during Women's History Month. It's critically important that we have diverse voices at the leadership table. I have said uh, that if you're not at the leadership table for dinner, then sometimes you're on the menu. And so I think it is so important that we have diverse voices at the table, including men and women, including communities of color, including uh, different perspectives from the LGBT community. The public policy that we make when we have the diversity of voices at the table is just better. It is more resilient, it stands the length of time, and it's more reflective of our communities. And so I'm committed to making sure my administration reflects the uh, changing faces of the state of Oregon, and I think it's really important uh, that we do that at the state workforce level as well. There's a great example of like when Siri first came out um, and didn't recognize women's voices and there were like half of the users because they didn't have women on, on the team developing it at first. And so when you miss out on the diversity of any kind of people, then you miss out on so many of the people that you can reach. There are only four female governors um, currently. We're gonna work on that, I hope. Yes. <laughs> we're lucky to have one here in our state. And I would say that it has been a challenge for voters to see women in executive roles as mayors, as governors, and of course, as president. Uh, we've done a really good job, I think, incorporating women's voices into the legislative process. Nobody thinks it's unusual now to have women legislators, but still we have folks who think it's unusual for us for us to have women governors, so we need to change that. I want not just uh, Oregon to be a place for everyone to thrive, I want America to be a place where all of us can thrive. We're having a lot of conversations right now about leadership and the role that each of us play in affecting change in our communities. Um, I think women in particular, they're you know, their mothers, daughters, or sisters, they have a lot of opinions and, and, and can see that they might have something to share here, have some perspective that might change course, and to have someone come in here and who's already doing that, I think is really inspirational. And I'm going to um, just say thank you for being here. We are so honored and blessed thank and you. humbled to have you here thank today. You. Thank you.